Yo guys, what is going on? It is Invin here and today what I'm going to be bringing to you all is my top tips for leveling in New World's fresh start servers. Now, they're going to be tips to help new returning players and also active players currently that just haven't started a new character for a little while and especially for those players that didn't try out the new player starting experience over on the PTR. I'm going to include a few tips from that revamped experience as well here. Now it is going to help you to level up quickly and of course if you are planning to play the Fresh Start servers or you are currently playing on the Fresh Start servers depending on when you watch this video then hopefully you will find these tips useful. Always do remember some of these tips are for players that want to maximise their efforts completely. Some are more generally nice to know things that are just going to help you along the way. And take each of these with a pinch of salt. Obviously apply them to your playstyle. You don't have to treat the game like a job unless you want to of course. But hopefully these do make it a little bit more doable for you. And a little bit more of a pleasant experience. And a more smooth experience whilst you get levelled up. So we're going to jump straight into it. If you do want to see more news and content surrounding the world. Don't forget to drop me a subscribe. And if you do go on to like the video do drop me a like as well as it helps massively to support my content and let's jump into the first thing So first things first, right now I am playing on the current live version at the date of recording and uploading, which you'll see in the description. Town boards are kind of the best way to get yourself the XP. Obviously at max level these are not really important, you kind of do them for territory standing and that's about it. But these are one of the best ways to get yourself XP while you are levelling. Once we jump into the fresh start servers and once the Brimstone Sands update is out on the live servers, the best way to level up is going to be doing your quests. Obviously main story quests which I don't have any for right now. These are going to be the best and the fastest way to level up, especially the 1 to 25 for those starting on fresh start when this does drop. This has been revamped completely, so these are going to be your best friend. Obviously, you will have skill progression quests once you get up to max level and things like that. But obviously, side stories is the other thing. These can all be really, really good. And you can see on my main account here, I still have a lot of level 40s, level 50s, etc. that I haven't done. So I can easily go back and do these. And they already give a decent amount of XP. You know, this one's 5,600. This one's 3,000. And these are going to be even more increased once we get this new leveling experience. So do stick yourself to the main story quest if you want the purest, fastest XP. And supplement that with town board rather than doing town board mainly with supplemented extra normal quests in to just get yourself leveled up. Questing is going to be your main source of experience. Now as well for those that haven't played since launch on regular New World on the main servers if you will there has been a lot of quality of life changes that now should help you to quest a lot easier so hopefully this will be a much more enjoyable experience especially with the revamp. Now with the revamp we don't know if it is just going to be 1 to 25 or if we're going to see any more levels added in. What we know at the time of recording this video is that it is at least levels 1 to 25 so those ones are going to be pretty smooth sailing but of course after that you've got plenty of main story quests plenty of side quests like you can see here I've still got some and that should keep you going mainly for the whole duration of the game like I said mixing in some other events there like elite zones and expeditions which we'll touch on in a bit is never a miss but obviously your questing is going to be the fastest way Now my next thing is going to be try to have an idea of the build you want to run, whether it's going to be sword and shield, warhammer, bow, ice gauntlet, life staff, whatever it is that you want to run, try and have that idea and try to pick up those weapons as quickly as you can. Now when you are starting out the game you can get most of the weapons, if not all of the weapons, within the first 5 to 10 minutes, including the new great swords. If you want to run that on these fresh start servers, pick them up and get going at those mastery levels. If you guys don't know fully, then what you've got to do is get yourself level up in these masteries as you guys can see on screen this is my main account so most things at level 20 a few things you know like the musket and stuff that I need to get up there but for the majority of things they are close or at max level again when I first started playing I wanted to use great axe and warhammer so I leveled those up first whilst I was leveling and then the rest of the stuff whilst I was going the hatchet as well was another one of the first ones I did so if you want to go for a certain build I would highly recommend doing this this is going to mean that you're going to unlock more of the points for it first so obviously 20 levels you get 20 points you're going to get your active abilities quicker more importantly you're going to get some of these really really crucial passives a lot lot quicker which is really really going to help you to progress in the game and overtake other players especially in the pvp region and of course it's going to mean that you're going to be more proficient when you are going around doing the questing at killing those mobs 
Now, in a similar vein to the previous point here, you want to have a look at your attributes and see what you want to run. So, for an example, this is obviously a 625 fulling backs to count. But you guys can see here, what I've done is kept a certain amount of points into strength and into constitution. But as you can see, neither of these are at 300. And really, I should have my strength or my constitution at 300, depending what role I'm playing. And neither of them are. So this is what you need to keep an eye on, especially if you're leveling. When you switch out different weapons and different pieces of armor, you are going to get a slightly different build. Now, the reason this is like it is right now is because with a 40 constitution boosted food, I'll be at 300. I will also have 211 strength. So this is actually the perfect build for some regular dungeon tanking, which I was doing earlier. So that's absolutely fine. But do bear in mind each of these 50 point attribute thresholds on strength, dexterity, intellect, focus and constitution will give you a different bonus. Now, one of the most important ones is going to be your 50 constitution. This means that all health consumables are 20% stronger. This is going to be really good for questing, for PvE, for PvP, whether it's elite zones, whether it's expeditions, whether it's main story quest, or whether it's fighting other players. This is going to be invaluable, so the quicker that you get this, the better overall. And getting to that 50 constitution level, whatever armor class you're in, does put you at a nice, decent enough health pool until you finish leveling. Now, you might want to increase that to 100 or 150 as you are going throughout your leveling phase, but of course you will want to focus on some of your damage as well. Hopefully you will have picked two weapons that scale off the same stat or at least one of the same stats. So for example, dexterity, you could be going great sword and you could be going bow. That's something that I'm looking at running. Or maybe you're going focus here and you're going void gauntlet and life staff. Whatever that combination is, if they are going off one of the same stats, you'll probably know by now you want to scale off that stat most importantly. So for example, my great axe and hatchet build that I used was only off strength for both of these weapons. Obviously hatchet is strength and dexterity, but the great axe is only strength so I pick strength as the main attribute there and you can level this up now each of these attribute thresholds gives you a bonus so for example plus 10% damage to physical light and heavy attacks now this is with all weapons when you have this equipped so it's really really good it's all physical damage and it will help you now also do be aware as well they do have some PVE or gathering bonuses so for example strength is mining so you get plus 10% mining speed there as well, which will also help level you up as you are going to be gathering and refining stuff as well to get extra XP. But these are going to be really, really helpful to turn a tide of battle and make you more powerful in the game early on. So try to focus your points into getting up to the next attribute threshold for your main damage or indeed for your constitution. Now, just because town boards have been nerfed in the revamped version of New World Leveling and main quests and side quests, that sort of stuff, is really going to be your best go-to option, these town board quests are still going to be great and you do not want to ignore them, mainly because, like I mentioned in the previous point, you are going to want to be gathering and, of course, then refining and crafting once you get those materials back to town as you are going around the world, pretty much gather everything that you physically can with the level you have and the tools that you have right now until you level up and then get the next tier and keep going and continuously keep gathering because this is always going to provide some additional XP as well as some refining and crafting XP or probably a little source of gold there. Now, as you guys can see, some of these quests are really, really easy. You won't even need to gather. So, for example, the common mana potions are something that you could have got from a drop from killing mobs. Then things like 50 linen, pretty easy to get a hold of. That would have given me 780 XP. Now this is in the current version at the time of recording, so it's better XP than probably what we will see from the town board missions when the fresh start servers come out. However, supplementing a few of these in if you already have the stuff involved in your inventory or in any of your banks, which I'll touch on in a moment, can really help to just boost you up those levels. Now, if you haven't played for a while on New World, you might not know as well that now all of the storages can be obtained into your inventory or into any other storage. What do I mean by this? So, for example, right now I am in Windswood, as you guys can see on the screen. However, if I want to go to, let's say, Cleves Point and I wanted to pull out one of the items here, maybe it is going to be some mana potions. Simply drag those into my inventory and I can either keep them there or I can go ahead, go back to Windsward and place them into this one. Now this is going to be super useful as it is going to mean that you can basically go around the world, dump whatever you collected on your way to and from each settlement into the storage and then pull it to wherever you need to complete those town board quests, which in turn is going to make it a lot more profitable in terms of XP as you are exploring to just check in, maybe you're running through Everfall, check in, 
have a look at the town board there, see if you can do any of the quests, see if it is just materials, check whether you've got those materials, pull them in, get the quest complete and then carry on. So it's going to be a lot easier and a lot more streamlined to be able to do that, albeit for a little bit less XP. Still do not sleep on these as it is going to give you a nice little additional boost. So Elite Zones, we're looking, you know, mid-game ones here, maybe Brightwood Isle, or we can go ahead and go over to Weaver's Fen and have a look at Perivale there. These areas are super, super good if you do want to get yourself a lot of weapon mastery XP. They're really quick for that. Also, obviously, doing these in a group is necessary, but they do give a good amount of player XP, not quite as much as main questing or town boards. Maybe they would match town boards, actually, after this update, but they're still not going to be as good as your main quests. However, like I said, they are really good for weapon XP, and you will be getting a lot of drops from the chests and the containers, which can either be an upgrading gear, it might be crafting reagents, or it might be craft mods, each of which you will either use or you can sell for gold. So these are never a bad idea, and if you are struggling at the quest, point that you're at in the game you can go ahead level up some of your weapon mastery to unlock maybe a new skill or a new passive that will really help out or indeed boost your player level through this now one thing to note with this as well is that crafting reagents now in the game are all one level so again if you haven't played for a while you might not have seen this change but it's all green and it is all tier 5 wherever you get it from uh, it will all be this level. Now, this is really important because it means from literally level one, you are able to get the best and the only version of crafting refinement reagents in the game. That's really important because, of course, it will make you a little bit of gold, especially when servers are brand new and people are fighting for those materials. But... It's going to mean that things like refining are super, super easy in comparison to what they were. You can go back, as long as you've got some refining reagents, you can go ahead and just use them straight away. This is great because it means whatever you gather on your way around, you can pretty much always going to be able to refine that and get the additional XP from there. And then, of course, craft it if you want to afterwards. And that is going to be super, super crucial for getting even more additional XP as you're going around. And again, if you really wanted to maximize on that, gathering, going to a quest, gathering on your way there and back, and then refining refining all of that down is going to get you the most possible XP, which is exactly what a lot of you guys will probably want to do, like I'm going to be doing myself. Generally speaking, in New World, you will see there is a lot of landmarks, a lot of POIs, there's corrupted breaches everywhere, there's elite zones, there's regular zones that have a lot of mobs in. There's all sorts of quests, side quests, and a whole host of different things that you can be doing. Generally, if you want to level up fast, and this is a tip for the kind of min maximo audience, but just always be doing something, and that can help whether you are a casual leveler or a min maxer, I suppose, because generally as you're going around, head towards your quests, gather things on the way, kill things on the way if you want to, Everything that you gather, you can then sell or refine. Anything that you kill will obviously give you XP. You have a chance to skin it if it's a skinnable mob. Or indeed, you have the chance to get drops from it as well. PvPing, open world PvP, gives you some great weapon mastery XP. It also gives you some great player XP, as well as having the chance to give some good drops. So having PvP enabled, if you are up for that challenge, is always a really, really good thing to have. And really helps to get you some extra XP as you're going around. And just generally always being on task to do something, being on your way to or from a quest or to a town and doing things as you're going along that pathway is going to be your fastest way just by continually gathering, fighting and all of that good stuff which makes sense in an MMO, it generally is how they go and of course don't make it a job, don't be over tedious on yourself but just do as much as you find fun and keep doing something and that way you will always be progressing towards that next level. Now, the final thing that I do want to mention here, it's not strictly to do with leveling, although it will be a very, very big factor on it, is the brand new fort bonuses that we have seen implemented into the game in the last couple of months. Now, you'll see here, for example, the Freakwater Fort here gives a global PvP experience bonus of plus 5%, which might not be the most interesting thing while you are leveling, but if we head up here maybe to Restless Shore and we have a little look, that one is going to give you free fast travel, and that is to any shrine or any set that you have already visited and obviously unlocked which will be not everything once you create a fresh character but that is going to be super super important because it's going to mean that you're going to save a lot of Azoth it's going to mean that you can zip around to different places in the world a lot quicker which is great for questing and also it will give you some PvP XP when you're doing that so it's a double-edged sword you're going to get a reward for doing it and then a reward continuously while your faction holds that so don't sleep on the brand new fort bonuses it's worth just looking over them if you haven't played for a while go around and have a little look at what some of the 
the new ones are. Global Adult Assault bonus, again, maybe not great while you're leveling, but if we do head over to Fort Monarch's Bluff, this one gives us a plus 5% to Global Experience boost, which, of course, on the live servers right now isn't that great, but on a fresh start server, that is going to be unequivocally important, and everybody is going to be fighting over that to get that little bit of boosted XP, so it's really worth looking into these, and like I said, they don't directly affect leveling, although this one kind of does. They're all going to be really useful, or a lot of them are going to be really useful to have whilst you are leveling, so certainly check those out and don't sleep on them. So hopefully these few tips and tricks will help you guys to level up nice and smoothly and nice and quickly if you do jump into the Fresh Start servers or depending on when you're watching this video, if you already have jumped into the Fresh Start servers. I know a lot of players are going to want to try and level up as quickly as possible. Other players are going to want to take it at their own pace but want to know some of the better, smooth, streamlined ways to do it. So hopefully these tips have helped you out whichever character you are and hopefully they do help you to nicely progress in the game regardless of which pace that you want to go at. Now if you there is any tips that you think I've forgotten to mention here that would be really useful for new players leveling or new characters leveling as we're all going to be in fresh start. Do drop them in the comments down below. It'd be really nice to hear what you've got to say. And other than that, please make sure you drop me a like on today's video if you found it useful because it does massively help to support my content. Drop a subscribe if you want to see more guides, news and update videos. And other than that, I'll catch you guys again very, very shortly on a brand new video. So thanks for watching. Take care and peace.